What's up everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I have for you another app review and it is Crypto Tracker by Ismail Estaliomena on the Microsoft Store. It is free if you know this channel. I like to look at a lot of free stuff because I'm cheap uh, and it is a quite nice looking cryptocurrency tool. It allows you to track your crypto watch list like he puts right there on the screenshot. Um, track your investments allows you to just see different things that you can do with it um, asset views you can see the different chart styles on there i'm not even sure what this chart style is called again um, ton of currencies it's got live tiles and a lot of stuff and it looks nice and it's definitely formatted for windows 11 in the style of rounded corners and the mica effects and all that stuff so let's let's go into it and this is it right here let's exit out back here so this is Crypto Tracker, and it is very straightforward. Obviously, as you saw in the beginning, it does have a light and dark theme. So if I go to settings here, we'll start here. In fact, uh, you can choose the different currencies. So which fiat currency you want to change the prices to. I will actually change it to USD. So I see everything in USD and not euros. You can set it how often it auto refreshes. If it never auto refreshes, you can set the startup page, whether you want to start on your portfolio page when you first open it up or you want to start coins news. Um, you can set it to have a startup process so that it launches as soon as Windows starts so you can keep on task of what, what cryptos you have bought into. And then the lifespan of graphs, the time span, you can set the default of what you'll see at first. Different views, you got your light mode, you got your dark mode, and you got your auto mode, which follows the theme of Windows in terms of whether Windows is on dark mode or light mode, and the app will end up being the same. You can enable the back button, which kind of just appears back in the corner here. I'll turn it on. Uh, just for you guys to see when I restart the application alerts you can set alerts um, so that you can constantly have price alerts in case you're getting ready to make a major trade um, on your account and therefore uh, it'll pop a price alert up whenever you need that alert feedback I love this area here I love that it's an easy way to give feedback and even give back to the developer as well since this is free and then you got an about which kind of just tells you uh, the install folder if you want to mention uh, data provided by CoinGecko, Crypto Compare, Coin Paprika. I'm surprised we don't have Coin Market Cap, but it is what it is. Um, and then you got About Me, and then you got the Change Log, which when you click it, instead of having to go to the Microsoft Store and click clicking in and digging in, you got a Change Log just just here. Every app developer I needs to do this kind of thing. Just put a simple Change Log in your application, even if it just pops up. Um, maybe every couple times that you open up the app, I just would love to have a change log inside the application built in. So now let's take a look tab by tab. Now we know we have search. We can search for cryptos. You can refresh uh, your charts so you can see it's refreshed, changed to US dollars. You got your settings there. And then you got the different time lengths, time spans of each chart. So this is Bitcoin. It's 39,000. You can bring it out to a year out um, and then see and click on Bitcoin. And then you can see what price Bitcoin was, let's say, November 8th, 2021. It was at 67,000, which is kind of amazing in my opinion. Uh, you can choose to favorite uh, different cryptocurrencies as soon as you click on them. So you can see information about them gives you basic information you can set notifications and alerts so say new alert when it is above I don't know 40,000 like I want to set an alert and then you can hit new alert and boom it's there you can turn off those things turn it back on whenever it's pretty nice honestly it's it's pretty nice uh, for a nice fluent design modern designed uh, cryptocurrency tracker we don't really have those really anywhere anymore um, coins, so it's got a bunch of coins here. You can just keep scrolling on it because it is imported from CoinGecko. So you're gonna have a lot of trash coins. You're gonna have a lot of mainstream coins, Polkadot, your Doge, your Shiba Inu, Safe Moon, Solana, all those things. Uh, Ripple. You're gonna have a lot, and then you're gonna have the news tab as well, which gives you crypto news. So when you click on them, uh, you get crypto news, and that can either open up in the browser or open up in the app itself, which is pretty amazing. And I'm pretty sure it uses Edge as a backend. This is kind of strange. It's using like a Windows 8 style uh, kind of video player, which is kind of funky, but it's pretty nice. Everything is just embedded in. If you want to open in browser, you can just click this browser button and then it will open up in browser. Next thing you got is your portfolio. So what I did was I was testing it out and I said, okay, let's say I bought SafeMoon. Let's say I bought it and I bought a couple dollars worth, which I actually have not. You can click to see the coin by right clicking and go through different things with SafeMoon and all those things there. If you want to say, I don't want to see Safe Moon, I want to see my uh, Shiba. Shiba Inu. So you can see that. 
click that and you can see the charts for Shiba Inu. You can go all the way out from when Shiba Inu was nothing to when it blew up to the insane numbers that it did. You can see all of that. You can add a new purchase. So you can be like, I say I want Shiba Inu that I purchased and I purchased Shiba Inu. I purchased about 100,000 Shiba Inu. Don't know what the uh, cost fee was, uh, including fee was, uh, let's say, and then let's say the cost was, I don't know, $500. I'm not even sure if it's $500 is a real thing. That means you would have lost all this profit because it does a lot of the math for you. You can choose the exchange that you bought it on, whether you bought it on Coinbase, whether you bought it on uh, Pancake Swap. Uh, and then you can just put in different things like that. So it's pretty nice that you can do that. So you can set the date that you bought it. So you can be like, I bought it in June of 2020. I bought it June 27, 2020. And then you can see how much uh, how much money you spent on it. So you can say, right, let's change that. Let's change it to like $200 and see what happens. So it says that's how much profit you made. That's how much it was worth and things like that. And you can hit add and just keep seeing the different cryptocurrencies that you had and now you have two different cryptocurrencies that you had and see your deltas and all your little charts if you know all of that stuff it's pretty neat in my opinion it looks this looks really really good in my opinion like if i was really into cryptocurrency like i know some of you are this would be an app that if i use windows once i let once i know the naming of delta what that means and how to calculate that stuff I'd be plugging it into this application because it looks nice, honestly. I wouldn't have to create a fresh uh, Excel spreadsheet for my cryptocurrency tracking. I could just use this. So in my opinion, that's that's kind of where I'm at in terms of usability for this application. It looks good. It seems to work quite well. Um, and it's it just it's just a beholding like that someone would make this and an individual or a, like a small group of people would make something like this. Let's see how it resizes. So you can see how it resizes um, when you shrink it all the way to almost phone size, when you shrink it down to a square, when you spread it out just like this, it looks good. Let's see right clicking Bitcoin. You can unfavorite Bitcoin, click it, click into Bitcoin. Okay, now Bitcoin is like this. If I wanna right click, what happens with different right clicks? Let's see what this is, compact overlay. So this is like your tiles. If you want to just keep your Bitcoin uh, thing open, you can just keep it open just like that. What I'm wondering, though, is uh, so pin to start screen. Obviously, we do not have a start screen in Windows 11. So let's say hap what happens if I pin it to start. It says pin to start is Bitcoin. You have crypto BTC is pin to start. So if I exit out of this application and I go down to crypto BTC, Yep, it pops it in right there to start because we're not using Windows 10 where it had tiles. But in this version, it's tiles essentially is compact overlay. So if I want to check Bitcoin's compact overlay, I can keep it very small there. What I'm wondering is if and this is one thing that I did not test, if I can open up, I can have multiple cryptocurrencies just with different tiles and I can just have different charts out for it. So let's see what happens if I open up Crypto Tracker again. So crypto crypto tracker will it let me open up the application more than once it's, it looks like it's not going to let me open it up more than once because it's already open um i'm not exactly sure how to open up to get the um to get more than one tile if that's even a thing that's possible and if and if it isn't possible i would love for it to be possible if it's if the developer can figure out a way to do that if if that even is possible knock on wood so that would be nice for me. Like for example, Ethereum, I could put that in a compact lay overlay. And then I would love to have like Bitcoin here. I would love to have like, I have a 49 inch monitor here. Imagine if I could put, let's say Bitcoin, ETH, you know, Ethereum, Sheep, all of my cryptocurrencies just lined up on one side of my screen, kind of like widgets. If I could do that, that would be amazing. Just having them all there. I know it'd be multiple instances of the same application, but I know some apps that actually do that kind of thing, multiple instances. So that's, I guess, my one big critique. That I would love to see. Otherwise, uh, this is very well fleshed out. It, it works well. Um, and everything makes sense in this application, what you're planning on doing, everything makes sense in it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Crypto Tracker and uh, developer. Good job on this. This is a good job. Well done. I kind of was in a dry season right now, but this 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 app is another one of those really good ones. I'd recommend this definitely. And it's free. So what can you do? Like, it's good. Definitely donate to the developer for keeping this up. My name is Kweku. Okay.
catch you guys in the next one. Take care.